Charms, a 2-1 defeat against Solihull tonight. Mm -hmm. Not the result we were looking for, obviously, but plenty of positives to take from the performance rather than the result. Yeah, um, it feels like we're seeing that a lot at this, at this point in time. Um, but I suppose you're right, there is, there is positives to take out of it, you know, for large parts of the... Well, for, for large parts of the first half, I feel like we've dealt with the, with the danger fairly well. Apart from the last 10, 15 minutes, obviously, where we've, we've kind of played into their, into their hands a bit. Um, second half, again, we came out with a much better team second half, but we can't keep giving ourselves an uphill battle second half to come back into it. You know, we've got to, we've got to when we're on top, we've got to, we've got to score more goals, we've got to kill teams off, we've got to get clean sheets. There's, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot to, a lot to do at the moment. It's a, the million dollar question. It sounds quite a straightforward one, but where did we kind of let that game get away from us today? I don't think, I don't feel like it was anything technically. I, I don't think it was anything tactically. I think it was just decision making in, in the moment in the game. You know, uh, as much as as much as a gaffer can help you and and he can try and direct you through the game, you've got to. Do you know I mean sometimes you've got to take things into your own hands? And if you need to come back at half time and apologise for that, but you're still one 0 up, then that's that, then that's okay. But. I feel like decisions are making us down at the minute, not not our technical ability, not the not the tactical um, layout of the game. I think it's just decisions that are, that are letting us down. Obviously, came on and there's a, a substitute just after the break, and came on and came on with the likes of Conor Barrett, Golden Mateo up there, Nick Horton. Mm -hmm. How do you think you said sort of made, impacted the game mm -hmm. yourself? Were you happy with your own individual performance? Um, no, because I didn't score and we didn't get back in the game. Um, that's do you know what I mean. That's that's why I was brought on the pitch. Um, I feel like I stretched it. In areas, but you know, we've, we've all got to demand more for each other. Got to demand more from ourselves. Um, so yeah, a lot, a lot to look at. But as it is in this, as it is in this, in, in this game and in this league, we've got another game coming up Saturday. So you know, we've got to have short memories. Yeah, of course, look at the game, analyse it tonight and tomorrow. But you know what I mean? We can't stay in this uh, mindset for long. We've got another game, and uh, we've got to be focused on that. One of the most interesting propositions of the season Saturday. Obviously, South End of a lot has been going on at the club yeah. over the last 12 months or so, and uh, sort of performing against expectations mm -hmm. uh, this season. And it's going to be a, a real test for us, and obviously in front of the big crowd as well. Yeah, of course. Well, I think as we're finding out, every single game in this league is going to be a tough one, um, especially you know a long, a long journey like that. Um, we'll do everything we need to. We'll, we'll we'll go down Friday and do everything right. Um, but yeah, we've just got to. The, t the results, the results have to have to turn soon, and um, you know we're all we're all hurting, but we're all still we've all still got confidence in ourselves. We all still be believe in each other. We're all still together, so you know we'll uh, we'll regroup and go get Saturday and hopefully put out another good performance.